Frankston Line passengers will be back on the train tomorrow after an impressive 37-day construction effort to remove three level crossings. The Premier has thanked those passengers for their patience, but residents further down the train line still face uncertain, uncertainty about their crossing removals. Here's James Talia. The 37-day round-the-clock construction effort has seen these suburbs transformed, with trenches dug out, removing enough dirt to fill the MCG. Concreting, tracks and overhead power lines installed, new stations built, and the level crossings at Bentley, McKinnon and Ormond are gone. And after more than five weeks with buses instead of trains between Caulfield and Moorabbin, from tomorrow, this will be the new view for passengers. <laughs> To every single member of the travelling public, traders, the local community, thank you so much for putting up with that short-term pain for what is undoubtedly uh, a clear win, clear gain in the long term. In total, an estimated 65,000 vehicles a day now have a clearer path. It may not look like it yet, but this station here at McKinnon will reopen tomorrow. Passengers at Bentley and Ormond will have to wait an extra month. Despite the Premier's thanks, traders around the sites have suffered. As you can tell in the street, there have been some closures, unfortunately. Um, but, but we really are expecting, when the station's finished, that, uh, that we'll be back to normal business. But with more crossings set to go further down the politically marginal Frankston line, the Premier still won't rule out an elevated solution. Every site on its merits with proper community input. It beggars belief why just down the railway line the government now wants to put rail over the road and impose a sky rail on these communities that no one voted for. James Talia, Nine News.